here in Smogden, Utah. Remember when I used to do these videos right here for years in the winter inversion and I changed the SM OGDN? By the way, that is Google software. So Google software, all Google's rules, followed every protocol, never had a copyright strike, never had a strike ever. Follow their advice, do their work, and then they deface Kevin Blanche's historical fucking digital paintings. And if digital fucking work is worth money, what the fuck is Kevin Blanche's fucking... Where's your fucking soup can? So, American canned. So, let's come to Utah, yay. Let's go to the days of 47. It becomes as natural as occupying a fucking Oregon bird refuge. I imagine... The Bundy clan will probably be here. <laughs> uh, the most fake thing in the history of fucking the world is rodeos, is cowboys in fucking tight fucking jeans and fucking pointed boots. <laughs> I grew up on a huge fucking ranch. Fucking, we didn't ride horses. <laughs> uh, we branded cows. Fucking cows are so unnatural. They're from Africa, by the way. Horses, they're Arabian. <laughs> fucking Genghis Khan Mongolian. Go fucking team. So, it's going to be 104 here today. So that means 106. Hasn't rained in fucking years. It's just since 2011. The greatest coincidence in human history. A few Futonium. Futonium skies, Futonium skies. A country of... Fuck, let's go play some basketball here. This, this is what Ogden really is. Don't kid yourself. The mayor is a derelict. This called well, I went to college with I mean, he tried to make it at Cluey's program. He had to go over to the Slacker building. Got a ball and all. Maybe we shoot some hoops. This is Ogden. <laughs> Perfect metaphor, huh? Anybody need one? People do they throw shit away here. Just the new fucking dump. A terrible and you don't think that oh no, this is just recent. Okay. Okay, it's just fucking recent. It's fucking recent. Get a ball, NBA, 2015. Oh, God, what a year that was. Fucking. How about the old Grand Central on 12th Street? The old Fred Myers. Now, when did they tear that down? That's 20 fucking something years ago. I mean, this goes on and on and on. I say just fucking tear it all down, put up a fence, and put your cows in here for the rodeo. You're gonna fucking ride some for cowboys. Okay, okay. Right here where I stand was the original brewery. It was a brewery. It still exists today. A guy in Salt Lake tried to reboot it. Lucky. Right there was the old Becker's Brew, right there, right there through the river. We used to go for two blocks. It was an Art Deco decay when I was young. There was a bar in there. God, what a fucking bar. You think the ruins bars in fucking Prague? <laughs> Ogden had, Prague had nothing on Ogden. This thing was fucking two fucking blocks fucking long, one block wide. It was the most grand, beautiful, incredible building you ever saw. And it was in Art Deco decay, falling down. He'd be in there drinking, hoping a brick didn't hit you in the head. They had a horseshoe pit in there. We would take a bus to the jazz games. Fuck. You were 14, you could go in there and drink. They didn't give a fuck. Smogden. Fucking places on fire. It's all coincidence. 2011. Don't listen to anything Kevin Blanche says. Just predicted every fucking bit of this. Down by the river. My daughter, the designer in Italy. Good here. Had a wife and kid in Ogden, Utah, Jack. I went out for a drive and I decided to go fucking back. So I got with Springsteen's people, a connection that she had. She's a muck muck. So she knew somebody who knew Springsteen's daughter, the one that's gonna be in the Olympics. And she used to go to the same gym with Bruce. So, she, you know, Bruce, remember? Born in the USA, went off to Afghanistan to kill the Taliban, went off to Iraq to get a big old set, went off to Vietnam to kill the Viet Cong, he's still there, he's all gone. I like all these political activists, including dumb fucking Trump. Oh, bummer, dumber. 
How about Bush Dumb, Obama Dumber, Trump Dumbest? That was filmed here. That bar is Bush Chavez is fucking Obar. He's my lead man from Black's classroom. Me and him were fucking partners for fucking decades. He died last year. That's the keg out on West 24th Street. Kegs were legal here till 83, and then the self-right just got the fucking filled. Tore down the fucking signs. So, I says, we need a Fukushima banner. You know, he was a great activist in the day, remember? In 1979, I hitchhiked from Ogden to New York in 79 to go to that concert. Springsteen was at that concert. No nuclear energy. Fucking, what a fucking concert. So, I met this girl on the way, and then I had to take one for the team, and I got me a staff shirt, 1979, no nukes, so, of course, I got in free, I used to do that here, I fucking found it, the old DI, I fucked when I was a kid, I found two staff event jackets for the old Salt Palace, fuck, here's this long hair fucking beer drinking kid, just walk in, put that fucking yellow jacket on, they're like, you work here, yeah, I work here, go on, I went to every concert there ever fucking was. I didn't take one. Maybe I'll tell you how I fucking. Shh. So. We got the restricted views of Madison Square Gardens. We're seeing an activist, Mark, who I was supposed to go see Fogarty. Speaking of Fogarty. Fucking. <laughs> Maybe we can see Coin Harvey's Circus. Do you know about Coin Harvey's Circus? Point Harvey was right there. He would parade his elephants right there and then around the hook and down Washington Boulevard. Yeah, Kane Harvey lived here. Yeah, he ran for president. That guy, the silver fucking dude. Oh yeah, 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 he lived right there. The circus was right there. Coin Harvey's famous circus was right there. He would pray. Before the fucking pioneer days, Perry. <laughs> the Perry, Mrs. Perry, you know, Rainbow Gardens, you know, she just died. She was like a hundred. Well, Mayor Perry, you know, he didn't make anything. I knew all these mayors fucking from, I worked for uh, Mayor Madsen. I did that beautiful fresco on the front of the building. Weaver State tore it off. That fresco that's on that big woman with the hat on building down there on uh, 25th. They put the building up next to it illegally. I redid all that. So these mayors, I knew them all. They didn't make any money. Madsen didn't make anything. And until Matt came in, Godfrey, I taught with Matt. I know Matt personally really well. We both graduated, you know. Miss Allen, it's Clyde Cooley, we should call her Miss Allen. That's his wife. She's a fucking genius. But that's a, remember when Matt punched her in the face right there? Got away with it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Fucking good Mormon, fucking little fucking weasel. Stole some. I restored the Masonic Temple for those guys, Bernie Allen and Randy Richards, 1905. I hung from a rope in 2009, hand chiseled it all back. One guy, one guy. Oh, we'll put a plaque on it. <laughs> saved it. The most historic building in the western United States, besides the temple. They're tearing the frescoes out of the temple right now. They paid me in cash. Shh, you can't tell that. Oh, Mount Godfrey was a thief. Fucking, he stole so much money here. They all did. Fucking, it goes back to the Black Lives Matter. That's how it started. Started on the no-knock warrant of Matthew Stewart. Randy Richards was his attorney. That was on January 5th when I was in the bone marrow transplant dying. The hee-haw, he'll be like, boop, boop, boom, shoot them up, fucking cowboys, you know? They're cowboys here. They had them, a radio roundup shootout in there. Ask Dub Lawrence, peace officer. They shot their own guy, killed him. It's a long day living in Ogden, Utah. Traveling fucking north down Washington Boulevard. And I'm a bad one because I don't need to fucking miss him. I used to live right there in fucking 17. My neighbor was murdered when I lived right there. God, she was beautiful, too. She was black. Beautiful. I don't think they ever got who did it. I know who did it. Well, everybody in Ogden who did it. That crazy psycho boyfriend. We see her fighting. One of the top interview man says, fuck, everybody knows who killed her. In here in blood, Utah. I mean, that's what this fucking place is. High five murders. I mean, I go on and on and on and on. It never fucking ends at this fucking place. Peter Skinner, why not? It's named after Peter Skinner, who was a mass murderer. He never set foot here. Anybody tells you he fucking lived here? Let me walk over here. That shit it is. We'll keep doing these Ogden walkabouts. 
for free because fuck all these Utah Art Council. I like how they painted the mural over there. And I got to be friends with those guys that painted it. Buy Ogden. Buy local. Buy local. Fuck these murals are so good in this town. The greatest flat fresco artists in the fucking world. From Ogden. Lives here. Kevin Lynch. So they painted Joe McQueen tan. So he's Puerto Rican now. He just died, Joe. So porters and waiters on Balco. That kid, that plaster wall right there. I had plastered that years ago. He's ooh, he's a trip, that big kid. Things out with he's a great, great press artist. I had a conversation with him a couple days ago inside his art studio there. He's a fucking talent boy. Oh, he's fucking intense. Oh. Smogged in Utah. Fucking hellhole. Fucking. Ogden River right there used to be one of the great fisheries in the world. We used to go right over there on the banks and we'd get up underneath the banks and catch them with our hands. The big fucking browns as they shaded up. That wasn't that long ago, I guess it seems like. They poisoned it. Yep. Kemlon. Gotta have your pretty green weeds. Some guy up there on top of 20th fucking street emptied his fucking truck into the river and it just wiped them out. Did the same. The Weaver's fucking almost as bad. Revenant, they, the fort was right there. Benefiture, there was a fort before that. Jim Bridger, Jedi Smith. Who's the savages? Wasatch means fucking hide. Cash. Francis. Est-ce que vous parlez Francis? Oui, oui, oui. We nine 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 nine. Fucking the great fucking cosmopolitan fucking boom city who had there were more churches than there still are right up here. They'll take a walk about on the we'll do the churches today. There's more denominations of churches in a square fucking few blocks fucking than anywhere on earth right here. This great cosmopolitan fucking city. I always like to go back to the story of uh, basketball, and I like basketball metaphors because. Byron Scott fucking grew up right over here. His mom, the, his, their families are all still here. His dad was Alan Hall, won two national champions. But about what? The first player of color in the history of the NBA is Japanese, but they're racist here. Oh, they hate Asians. Now, they didn't then. There was so many Japanese descent in this city. My dad, Digger, the organic farmer, you know, Dr. Blanche on Balco. God, what a genius that his best friend, I mean, the farm next to ours with the Sikamoto's, but what fantastic people. Really what fucking fantastic people. But Watts, Japanese, born and raised here. First player of color in the history of the NBA, but fuck him. By the way, <laughs> uh, fuck Lillard. I know Damien personally. I did the play-by-play -play for Weber. He never won nothing. Oh, they lost to Nicaragua. Yeah. My guess is in the Olympics don't go. They won't even win a fucking medal. What's his name told me the other day? He says, do you know that Annabelle herself, yeah, the madam, fuck, she was the greatest. I was friends with her. It was Byron Scott's grandma. I says, hmm, I've heard that before. I didn't know that. I knew it was Alan Hall was his dad. But... So much history here. Coin Harvey, <laughs> Circus, old Piccadilly Fish and Chips. That building's so fucking cool. The rock work off the line. It's a great walk along this fucking river. Used to be the great fishery. It's all gone. John Browning on Balco. Browning was from Tennessee, but he invented the BIR right over there. Greatest weapon of mass destruction in the fuck until the AK-47. This is a great story. I got to tell this. Now think about it. This is the home of John Browning. No guns were ever made here, except for in his little shop. They made them at Lee National, so they could avoid the War Profiteering Act, FDR. FDR, Teddy was here a lot. He gave a lot of speeches inside that Masonic temple. The ceilings, the archway ceilings are still in there. They don't even know what the fuck they are. I talked to the fucking owners. Bernie and Randy got rich off it, bolted out of town. The Matthew Stewart, D. Smith is dead now. He was the prosecuting attorney that went after Matthew Stewart. Matthew Stewart never shot anyone. Asked up Lawrence. He never shot no one. They hung him in the fucking jail cell. That's how Black Lives Matter started. It's an unarguable fucking fact. Kevin Blanche started it right here in this town on that fucking no-knock warrant of Matthew Stewart. They did it again in South Ogden. They just recently did it again. 
still doing it. Even fucking psycho Ann Rand fucking Paul fucking uh, says get rid of him in Kentucky. So then the murder of Danielle Willard when they shot her in the face in 2012. And then I started it in D.C., in Baltimore, in Ferguson, Kevin Blanche. That's who started. It's called the Post Ignorance Project. And John Anthony Ferrers got involved with his movement. We combined and named it the Million Mass March. We had 7 million followers. See any media coverage then? It's RT. <laughs> Nobody told. We had 7 fucking million. Remember, remember the fifth. And 7 fucking million. Black Lives Matter co-opted. Fucking Donovan Mitchell puts on his bulletproof vest and with Utah across in front of his jersey and his slave made fucking gear. Take a fucking knee. Cold cap and knicker. Then sign your Nike contract. Slavery. The Ogden used to be famous for their sewers here. Sierra Lingerie was right there on 12th. All kinds of sewers. Famous clothing here. They were protectionists big time. Very much like Vienna. And uh, But it's in Art Deco decay and they just tear it all fucking down. Donovan Mitchell fucking got his bulletproof vest and he's got names up and down it. Not one from Utah. The cop kill innocent people capital of the world. You're looking at it. You're looking at it. Fucking, it's an unarguable fact. That's just fact. They, and it's not just black, white. It's, they like to kill kids. They like to kill autistic people. The fucking Blair murder. I mean, you go on and on. And on. They like to kill handicapped people. They love to kill mentally distraught people. And then if Johnny got his gun, everybody got a gun here. So John Brownie invents the, so the Brownie guns are pieces of art. I don't know if you, any of you guys have any. My friend used to have one. Two Blanche. His mom was in Blanche. Jerry. With love. And it was engraved, John Brown. I said, you know what that fucking gun's worth? I think he sold it to Thomas fucking Moore. He said, no, fuck that guy. Don't even get me going on that guy. He kicked me out of high school. But yeah, he's married to the Brownies. He's the Brownie fucking guy. I talked to him the other day. He's like, oh. And he was still talking about 1976 when he kicked me out of fucking high school. And they are probably, he was in English. I mean, married fucking i mean i'm so sick of these fuckers that think they got the field because they're inherited wealth fuck you want to talk inherited wealth abraham jose got the force my grandfather i'll talk to you about inherited wealth. you're talking the fucking richest family in fucking utah fuck all looted he was they were socialists i inherited zero i was required to learn a trade by the time i was 16 in those sand pits i was talking to parsons jack i had to put it on jack parsons died this year jack jr and uh, that funeral would have been giant, but COVID, COVID, COVID. So, I have a pin, a gold pin with a piece of plutonium in it. I mean, platinum that Jack made for my grandpa. When my grandpa retired. Jack and my grandpa were partners. They owned those white sand pits. Those white sand pits in Brigham City, ancient Lake Bonneville. They made fortunes of shipping the sand to California for the beaches. The beach of sand used to be all pristine white where they'd take the pictures for the propaganda when they fucking Kate Sessions and her drunk fucking seasick mule brought in Captain Cook fucking palm trees and fucking turned it into Disneyland, San Diego. The sand was from here. They made fortunes. The bar tile, it's all over, on my, including on my mom's roof, all over. That red, that blue, that green. They adobe it right there in that pit. I used to fucking do it. That's where I learned to plaster at a young age. My grandpa required me. He required me to go to public university. He required me to be part of the fabric. And I inherited zero. He says, you're not gonna inherit not one penny. What you're gonna inherit is my wisdom. You got me? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what a gem that dude was. When he was dying, I remember I went and signed right at the end, 1980. He died the same, right after Fama K. Brody died. Oh, she. I remember he just looked to me and said, Kevin, and he winked. Keep your work going. I'm glad I didn't inherit any wealth. I look back on it. All these inherited wealth fucking creeps. They're all fucked up, all of them, and they're fucking big fucking styrofoam fucking mansions, and they're fucking slaves cleaning their fucking toilets and their comfortability. What a fucking day. So smog in Utah, I'll do more of these. 104 here today. Hottest temperature in the history of the world recorded yesterday and the day before and the day. 
Kevin Blanche, March 2011. Down by the river. Down by the refine. Had a wife and kid in Ogden, Utah, Jack. I went out for a drive. I decided to go back, so we watched Springsteen do the river. His entire album, my favorite album of all time. Sure shit on the front row. There it was. I don't know who it was. Great big fucking red and white. Kevin Blanche's red and white soup can. American can. Pierce right here. There it was. Fukushima, Japan. I well, we stood up for a minute. Took it down, but the restricted views are the best views in all of Madison Square Garden. So I was supposed to go last year to see Fogarty same activist that bought me the tickets for the Springsteen concert, bought me one for C. Fogarty in Prospect Park. Same park, 1979. Canceled. Just got back from Illinois. Locked the front door, oh boy. Do, 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 looking at my tangerines and elephants. Yay! Coin Harvest Circus at the Ogden Stadium. I have a program, I'll have to dig it out. Ogden Stadium, 1959. Raiders, 49ers, preseason football. Uh, yeah, what a fucking city, what a town. I used to live right there, I used to fucking walk through that. An Art Deco decay. All clicks, no bricks. What a sad scene. It's been here for 40 years to watch this. The ruins? <laughs> okay. It's a bunch of cliche fucking freak show now with fucking no historical reference. Let's fucking got hire guys from Puerto Rico to paint murals of Joe McQueen fucking tan. <laughs> they don't know nothing about Ogden. Nothing. By the way, Peter Steen Ogden never set foot here. He's a fucking mass murderer. Perfect, right? Yay, Ogden Pioneer Days, case of 47. Yeehaw, yeehaw. It becomes as natural as occupying. Fuck, what a joke. Early morning pioneers, they weren't a bunch of fucking riding horses in fucking tight jeans and pretty fucking cowboy. I'm going to quit you. I'm going to quit you. I ain't going to quit you. Pretty cowboy. Broke back mountain on fucking chemo. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a trip, man. It's a freak show. It's a fucking cartoon character. Fucking cliche. Ogden, Utah in Art Deco Decay. Smogden. Remember I used to put the SM right there? That's when the fucking shithole hotel was here. So we used to sit right there. It used to be the Utah drive-in. Everybody dragging the boulevard. Fuck, talk about cars when we were kids. God, the girls I met on that fucking boulevard in my life. Ooh, ooh the things. Meet a girl, go up to Mount Ogden Park. That's what this lifestyle was here in the 70s. Fuck, it was a beautiful place. Golden Gate had nothing on us. Mayor Dirks was wasted 24-7. Love that guy. God, he was a fucking classic. Ogden was a classic. So they play the TNA movies. You know what those are. So everybody used to sit in that parking lot right there in their chairs and their fucking cool cars, all the teenagers, and set up a keg and watch the fucking movies. <laughs> no one gave a fuck. No one gave a fuck. Sexual consent age in this town was 14. I went to Walkwood Junior High, and I... I it's a true story. Guys would pull up, and that's back when fucking there was a lot of wealth in Ogden. It's the bluest district in America. And uh, now I, I talked to the county survey, and he says, "You know what? I like Ogden. Deep rooted conservative values." I said, "You should fucking from here, in here in Little Chicago. Are you fucking nuts? This is the bluest district in America. This place fucking was the wild. Fuck it. San Francisco had nothing on this place. Art, culture, sex, drugs, rock and roll. I mean, this place was on. I mean, on." Fucking Randy always says, fuck, they went 16 years without giving a DUI. The whole town was wasted. 20. Smoking weed was legal. You used to sell weed was legal. You used to just go to the federal building and all that. You just had to buy your federal tax stamp. If you had your federal tax stamp on the... Fuck, the cops were all corrupt. Fuck, well, of course, they still are. They're just a different type of corrupt. The whole town was wasted. So, I don't know if back to basketball, do you remember the Trailblazers? when they had that incident in the hotel room with those 16-year-old girls. When the Portland Trailblazers were all good in the 90s, Damian Lillard, when they were good in the 90s. And 
then it came out and people realized because people wanted their heads. You know, these are 16 year old girls with fucking grown fucking men. Then it came out the central sex age is 14 in Utah. Nope. I was in Boise, Idaho, of all places, me and Butch. And uh, we were plastering a fucking the old, that Arctic Circle in Emmett, Idaho for a guy. We love it. I mean, I used to travel around, I used to do all the Mavericks, whatever one I want blast plaster. And we're at a nightclub in Boise. And we'd like to welcome, there's two dudes sticking way up. Two guys from the Portland Trail, and they had girls with them that couldn't have been 14, 15 years old. In there. And I told them, who the fuck is it? So we walk out, and they're standing by the car with these young, young girls. And I says, who the fuck are you? And one says, I'm Clyde Drexler. The other says, I'm fucking drunk. I said, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You know, it was Rod Strickland and uh, one of the Grant brothers. And I was <laughs> like, same old, same old. But when I was a kid, at Walker, and I was afraid of girls because I had that really good looking twin sister, and I fucking was like, whoa, I, I, you know, I stayed clear, and I got so much attention from me, as you don't want to fucking know. You know, my Annette, my girlfriend, oh God, that I met right there on Washington Boulevard, she recently, from Muscat Springs, died of cancer, fucking heartbreaking. She was a rodeo queen. God, she was so good looking. I was so in love with her. What a gem that girl was. They all die young of cancer. By the way, uh, Desiree just died. God, how beautiful was she? You know, she was Pioneer Days queen. She died of COVID this year. She was in good shape. I was at the ceremony at the Union Station last night with Tony Cross and Susan and them. They inducted his mom. <laughs> God, it was a weird gig. Sucking hot in there. What a trip, man. So at the junior high at Walquist, I drew the yearbook covers. I drew the fucking phone book. I was the artist. I was the track star. I was the fucking half miler. Me run against Ed Eisner. Yeah, he's the Olympic coach. He's from here, TH Bell. Love that dude. Guys would pull up in Mercedes. These rich freaking. I mean, there was some wealth here, and I mean wealth. The Eccles fortune, the Browning fortune, the fucking banking fortune, the war profiteer fortune, they were all intertwined, the American can fucking fortune, the, I mean, the D fortune, I mean, it was fucking filthy, stinking, 1980, everybody just up to fucking like a caravan left and went to California, guys would pull up in fucking Mercedes, because there were tariffs of 400%, John DeLorean was living here then, so was Christine Ferrari, when she got busted, Guys that pull up, 35-year-olds picking up 14-year-old girls. The half of the junior high was pregnant. Now, I'm not, there's people that watch these videos that I went and they tell you that had babies when they were 14, 15 in this town. Tons of them. It was, I was like, whoa, it used to give me the creeps. Fucking used to give me the creeps. And I was afraid of these fucking girls. And I had so much attention from females. I had all that one. And I stayed clear, man. I tried as much as I could, but, you know, it's hard. Town, people were so incredibly beautiful in this fucking town. Oh, fuck. I grew up here in San Diego. And you don't think San Diegans were good looking in those days? You know, shit. They had nothing on Ogden, Utah. I'm telling you, they were the most beautiful, best looking, sexiest fucking females in the world were here. Oh, boy. And, you know, prostitution was still fucking on here. Ask Annabelle. I mean, this place was fucking so Freudian. Ask Mama K. Brody. Ask Bernard DeVoto. Ask fucking what? <laughs> fucking nobody knows anything about the history here so I'll do more of these fuck these fake fuckers that rolled in here from Chicago or whatever and try to fucking tell us about Ogden they don't know their fucking ass <laughs> import buy local buy local import Puerto Rican fucking artists give them $175,000 that piece of shit called well to paint fucking a tan Joe McQueen <laughs> and I love Joe McQueen he's 100 years old he's an important figure in this town there's no doubt but he's Maybe top 100. I'd put him, you know, in the 60s. Point Harvey on Balco. There's so many historic people from this fucking town. You know, what about Paul McCartney? Not that Paul McCartney, the other one. You know, he's a Weber State grad. Me and him fucking, I mean, there's a, I mean, the artists in this fucking town. But how about Kevin Lynch? <laughs> uh, Fuktonium fires. Fuktonium fires a country of liars, a country of deniers. 
I'll predict it. Just the greatest event in human history, the Fukushima meltdowns. And the heat dome, the heat bubble over the western United States. What are you, Notre Dame? Oh, fuck, I'm way more accurate than that motherfucker ever fucking dreamed to be in. Fucking. For Hamlet and Cassandra, they got together in fucking Ogden, Utah. Oh, curse it spite that I was ever born to set this fucking right. The country and western version of fucking Hamlet, right? I watched you pour fucking poison into my father's fucking ear. Fucking. Well, I got an uncle in Claudius talk about a fucking world class athlete. He's still alive, living in Alaska. Fucking. Dead tackles at your feet. Fucking. That's a fact. Dead fucking returning fucking salmon jack. Stan Tuned, dot on Balco. Where's your fucking soup can? Where's your fucking crown, Lillard? Ha <laughs> ha! They lose in Nicaragua! They suck. Stay in tuned.